Well, how do there, chums? As I, Captain of the Stews, got myself a lovely cup of tea. Well, I say cup of tea. It's actually coffee. It's actually a coffee. Yeah, it's pretty lovely. I'm jumping back in to Dragon's Dogma. Now, I'm still in the Elven Village. And I, I've been given a mission by the Elven Chappie. So here we go. So let's go see this guy for a second. Because he just gave me a mission. Cool. And he just gave me a quest to go somewhere fairly close to where I am right now. Speak for the blacksmith. Case of the sculptors. Oh, okay. Well, that's weird. Seems to be that the quest has vanished. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, uh, right, we've got to go back to Melv. However, to go back to Melv, I kind of want to travel through that cave complex that's quite near to me right now so there is a cave here and i want to go through there so through here now i've tried to unlock the gate but it seems to be locked from the opposite side i've got an idea though sometimes when you go into places at night skeletons spawn i'm hoping i can make skeletons spawn behind the opposite side of the gate and if they try to hit me hopefully they break the beam and i can get through there so i want to try that oh look there you go there's the quest marker right there so he has given me a quest i've got to go to there it's just not appearing on my actual map on my doohickey so i guess we're going to go there so if i can just set a little waypoint there there we go i'm just going to i'm just going to raise all and I'm just going to put a new marker right there. And we're going to head towards that. All right. I just want to see what happens if I go to that yellow diamond. Let's go, people. Right. Well, I'll head there and I'll let you know what I find there. OK. Whoa, I fell off a tree. Yeah. Oh, hold on, people. There's a yellow diamond. Ah, oh, he's following me to where he wants to go. We've just got to take him somewhere. All right, fair enough. I don't know why Beans is waving at me like a crazy person possessed. A well-organized pack is my oh, specialty. This I'll annoys me that pawns just stop you and ask if they can this join way. your party. Yeah, it's it all right, mate. Worlds, I came to know of a treasure chest in this area. Oh my days! Like to see it. <laughs> These pawns—they don't shut up, do they? <laughs> Freaking insane! Oh, I think Beans is actually taking me where I need to go. This is this is kind of handy, actually. Come to think of it. Yes, mate. But some masters rearrange their party at the drop of a hat. Do they? One such a risen dismissed me after only half a day of service. Well, fascinating. <laughs> I was about to say the same thing. I suppose there will be monsters lurking beyond it. I uh, probably Great, keep your wits about you. We needn't go barging in. Um, I've got an MP. Seriously? By all of use. Let us ponder how best to proceed. Um, yeah, that's a good question, because we've got this guy with us. Is he going to actually do what Beans just did and Rambo with us? I don't know whether he will, but we'll, we'll give it a go. Stay with Ouch! Him. For fudge's sake! Right Beans! Okay. How's that, how's that NPC going to get down here? Yeah, look, he, he's kind of stuck up there now. Beans, this was not the way to go, mate. Not when we've got an NPC with us. How the fudge are... Come on. How the fudge am I supposed to get him down now? How am I supposed to get back up there? Even. Oh, for fudge's sake. Um, I have no idea. That seems to be a cave in there. Mornun Hiroth. What? You have my gratitude. He magically teleported. Thank fudge for that. Okay. Cool. I am pleased that you agreed to join me. It was a fruitful journey. <laughs> I wouldn't say it was, mate. And I can now unreservedly that you have my support on the path you walk as the arisen. As for me, I shall do my part in fulfilling my duty to my people and safeguarding the future of the arbor. Morfa oh. errando. What's he give me? A bunch of flowers. Freaking great. Alright. Uh, that's just what I wanted, isn't it? It's not what I wanted! Okay, right. 
now I need to get all the way back up to where I just was and go through that cave. And I'm hoping to go there at night and see if I can actually make it so I can open the doorway. Now, what's the best way for me to do that? Because that's quite high. I think right, we can go this way. No, nope, I'd rather not. Follow me. OK, we're going back up to the Smurf village. Well, where all these little um, elves live. If I can remember how I got there, because I just followed people last time. It was up some freaking routes. I can remember that much anyway. Much of an adventure if all we do is make a camp. I understand the inclination arisen. Um, one of life's simple pleasures after all. Right. Um, I think I'm going the right way. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll let you know when I get back to the poxy caves. OK, right. Well, I'm back at where I wanted to be. Now, I just need to sit in a place to pass time. Is there a place down here where I can pass time? Can you pass time at these things? Yeah, I don't think you can, can you? Can you pass time here? No, it is just a case of going in and out of the rift, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Is there any sort of just remembered a curious rumor I overheard once. bench or anything around here? Seems there's an illness pawns can catch beyond the rift that has devastating consequences for those around them. Yeah, but I've still, heard about that. The pawn never knows they're sick. They just become restless and flippant and won't heed the arisen. Okay. Um, that sounds most unpleasant. It sounds I like hope we shall remain free of it. It sounds like you lot already, to be fair. All right. I'm not seeing any sort of places where I can pass some time around here. Uh, there is a campsite further back, actually, that I could. And then we can go up that ladder. Yeah, look, there's a campsite just down here. Let's head back to that campsite. I rest at said campsite. And hopefully pass the time. There we are. Cool, yo. I'll rest here until night time, people. Let's give it a go. Make camp. Make camp. Yeah. At least I get my health back from that freaking place plant that I just bloody done. Hold on, okay. Uh, we might as well cook some meat. There's some on the actual cooker already. Uh, let's do aged. Lovely. Might as well have some coffee while I wait. Cheers, people. Yum yum. I'm all for swapping stories, but perhaps another night. I can scarce rest till night, Paul. Boom, 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 boom. Right, okay. Just put my lantern on. Right, I can't see freaking toffee now, so we'll just go back this way, and hopefully, get back to where I was. I did just hear a big growl, which wasn't very pleasant. And, God, I can't see for now. Ah, oh, for fudge sake. I can't even see the stone that I was at earlier. There it is. Okay, so I know that it's round here. You can't see your freaking hand in front of your face when it's night time in this, in this game. Right. And we'd head up this ladder over here. Yes. Come, come. Oof. My pack's grown rather heavy. Yeah, mine too. Let we need to go stop at an inn. The nearest town. Yeah, we I'd will do. I'd rather sell our pickings at market than toss them aside. Okay, right, we're in. Now I've just got to remember where that We've freaking... We've found a hidden path. No, we this haven't. Discovery really lifts the spirits. No, we haven't oh, found a hidden path. Morning. Not at all. You surely have escaped my eye. What? Of course it hasn't. We've been in here before. Okay, right, so somewhere in here... Was that underground-y... There was a cage. I've got a budge. People, I will reconvene when I find the actual cage. And I'll show you on the mini-map where it is. The enemy the upper hand. Ouch! The yeah! Freaking kill him! Okay, I'm going to grab this. I'm going to throw it at you guys! Yeah! Boom! Blew his head off! Chuck a pow! Chuck a pow! Chuck a boom! Boom! Dundalee and done. Oh look, there's two more just sitting up there. I see you. you. You're not that well camouflaged, mate. Especially when you move. I don't suppose begging for a reprieve would get as far with one of its lot. I doubt it. No, they're goblins. Fear not. Tis well in hand. 
they're very dead yes they're very dead indeed right now i've got to find where the cage was where the door was and i can't remember where it was off the top of my head people so let me just root around inside of this cave until i come across it and once i do i'll be sure to let you know it was quite low down um yeah keep your ears pricked ears are pricked try themselves with the slightest sound be sure to keep your wits about you. I am. Anyway, I'll let you know when I get to the cage and I'll show you on the mini map where I find it. Okay, John, so on the mini map, where I am right now, it's sort of off to the side here. And there's like a little cave down here, which is really easy to miss. So if I go into the map, boom, that's where I am right now. You head down into this little corner, this little nook here, and here's the gate. Aha! Yes! Skeletons have spawned. Here we go. Stand back a bit. Don't kill them. They need to try and hit us. Keep hitting. Sweet. Come on. Yeah. Here we go. There's a big one. Hopefully he's going to do it. Come on. Hit back. There we are. It's open. The gate is open. We've done it. Okay, That's kill these guys. Oh, they're a little bit tough for me because I haven't got any holy magics. Get him! Okay, I'm filling them with arrows, but yeah, they're not really going to do much. Did we get him? Did we get him? I don't think we've got anything decent from killing him. Right, let's get through this gate. Ha ha! Yes! We are through! What fell from the beast as it breathed its last? I don't know. What did fall from the beast as it breathed its last? Let's put exclamations all over here, but I, I don't see anything to pick up. Alright, fine. Well, let's just carry on then. Bit bizarre. Anyways, hopefully we get to drop the gate at the other side. Now we something shall have to crane our necks to spot our foes in a place like this. Crane our necks, you say? Okay. My heart leaped from my throat. Yeah, this is a bit creepy in here, to say the least. And it's night time. What is that big booming noise? There better not be giant monsters in here. Take that! Spider of evil! He was probably quite a defenceless little spider, actually, come to think of it. I just don't really overly enjoy spiders. I don't mind spiders if I know where they are in life, people. But if a spider takes me by surprise, I will scream. Here we go. We've not, perhaps tis Ouch! Live and let live. Shall I give it its come up and... what, what just got me? Oh, it was a spider! Little nasty spider bit me as I was opening the chest. Fine, kill the spiders then, people. They aren't friendly. Right, let's head up here then. And here we go. Here's another gate to smash. Open this. Lucky us. That's worth taking. What? What was? What's worth taking? All right. Um. Now there's a ladder here that we need to knock down. Oh, Yumi just did it. Thank you very much, Yumi. Yumi's a star. Right. Now, really, we need to get ourselves to some sort of, I don't know, encampment or something. Can I just slide down here? Yes, we can. We need to find ourselves somewhere where we can rest. Because... Oh, I seem to recall there being a treasure chest in this area when I explored it in other worlds. Is really? Um, I'd rather it if you led us to Melv, mate. If you can lead us to Melv, that would be bloody great. Follow me, then. Yeah, go on. Lead the whale. Oh, my days. We've got a ghosty. Now, I've got no holy... I've got no moves against undead or unholy. You saw me trying to take on those skeletons earlier, right? Well, they kicked my butt, really. If I didn't have these guys, I wouldn't have stood a chance. Because they're almost invulnerable. You think they'd have learned from the last lot that we're not to be trifled? We must... Let us finish this quickly. Yeah. 
Oh, you want me to high five you? That was thrilling. It was. I did not know I could feel so alive. Beans, just keep leading the way, mate, because I can't see for toffee. Come on. Come on, show us the way. I've got my lantern on already. It's not all that bright, really, is it? But here we go. We'll follow Beans. Our road was a long one, but here we are at last. Oh, you found me a chest as well. Well, thank you. I, I, I need you to show me to Mel, because I can't see. Yeah, OK, cool. He's showing me where his chest was and that he found in other world. Some great treasure. Oh, now I feel a fool. Well, we got something. It, I'm sure. Yeah, I can combine that apple with something else and make something wonderful. Don't you worry. But for now, we're just going to press on. We're following beans and hopefully we get to Mel. And when we get to Mel, I'll be sure to let you know unless we come across something awesome on the way. <sighs> OK, people, it would appear that we've made it to Mel, which is pretty darn cool. I'm a goner. Um, cool. Nice one. Now, what I want to do is stop in the inn if I possibly can. So let's have a quick look, see, at the map of Mel. Right, so I want to go there. And where am I right now? I'm right there. So I just need to follow this path down and hopefully we won't miss the inn. Okay, Coolio. I'm going to head to the right. I'm going to go this way. And I'm going to go stop in the inn because Matt the Low has kitted out phoenix with a load of archery stuff he's let me know that he's done it now so hopefully oh, i'll be able to take the stuff off and put it on my main guy to take a peek. hello chap here at the inn we also offer changes of vocation for those i get so few customers lovely see. might have to take both use of that myself. rest Enough till morning get sleep will ensure we are prepared for the morrow cool and let's see what we get given whoo Yes, she has returned from the rift. Okay, cool. Okay, you have received equipment from the Arisen in the other world. Equip it now. Yes, please. Okay, we've got um, a fairy stone as well. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll send that to storage. And I'll take that with me, I guess. So, Ewol, that's Matt the Low. You gave me another fairy stone. Well, thank you very much, Matt, for fast travel early game. That is very much appreciated. Opal has also taken my pawn out. Thank you very much there, Opal. Not on my friends list at the moment, but thank you very much. And this guy. Okay. Also not on my friends list, but thank you very much for taking my pawn out. And thank you very much for the gifts. It's very much appreciated. I guess. Okay. I crossed paths with a pawn of great skills on my travels. He was a master thief. Our enemies never saw him coming. Oh, nice one, Phoenix. A good sleep. Oh, look at all that stuff she's got as well. Okay, right. So if I go into equipment and go over to Phoenix. Oh, look at that bow. A bow fashioned from the skin of legendary Hydra resembles a coil of conjoined serpents. Those particular torsos rest comfortably in the hand. Oh, very nice. Well, I'm going to remove that. And I'm going to give that to me. Um, right, I'm not going to bother really equipping too much on her because I'm probably going to turn her back to being a thief, to be honest. So what else has she got on her person? Oh, wow. OK, she's got this as well. So if I remove that as well. And I'm going to give that to me. Same with this. Armour crafted from the artisan's surprise and skill. Each component is attuned to the needs of the archer. Nice. Remove. And I'm going to give that to me. And this as well. Coolio. Eliminating exhaustion. Heck yes. And give that to me. Uh, okay. I think I've got one of those, to be fair. Um, yeah, I'll remove that anyway and give that to Steve. Damage taken. Nice. All right, that's all good. Okay, right. Now, if I go back upstairs, ready to forge on. I'm going to change her vocation yet again. 
and I'm going to change her back to being a thief, I think. People. Here at the inn, we also offer... I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. But enough of that, me. Change of vocation. And over to there. I'm going to put her back to being a thief. I want to max her out as a thief. Uh, yep, go to the equipment menu. So none of those are good for thievery. Can I can I actually get something out of storage? Well, that sucks. You can't do that. All right. Well, that's equipped. She can't have that either. All right. Fine. She's got that on already, which is great. She's got that on. Cool. She's got those on. Okay. Right. You need something. Yeah. I I need to go into storage and I need to withdraw. Some more weapons, please. So I need her fifi stuff back. So I want those. And what else do I want? Ooh, serpentine circlet. It can't be used by a thief. We haven't got any head. I think she's already got decent headwear. This is cool. That's for a thief. So I want to take that out of there. Leave all that in. Don't think there's anything there. And I think we're good. All right. Okay. What do I want to deposit over on Phoenix's side? I want to stick in a load of bits and bobs. Let's uh, let's just go through all of this. Then. I'll tell you what, I'll sort this all out, people. Right then, people, I'm looking pretty darn freaking majestic and awesome now. My stats have gone through the roof, so thank you very much, Matt Lowe. And there we go. And even... Phoenix is looking rather dapper, and her stats are looking fairly nice too. So thank you very much, Matt the Low. Very much appreciated. Should make my question a little bit easier. Talking of which, what have we got to do? So, yeah, Melv has suffered the dragon attack twice now. Its people would doubtless be in need of aid if they are to rebuild. Perhaps you should return to the village from time to time and see how they're getting on. All right, well, let's head on out then, and let's see how they are doing, shall we? Where's the bloody door? Oh, there it is, right there. Go on, then. There's a ladder here. Nice. Well, they, they seem to be okay, to be honest. They seem to be doing all right. I'm not seeing any... any other dragons here. So... Am I supposed to talk to somebody or something? It is my duty to hear the people's concerns. Okay. Polo, who the fudge is... Okay. I have no idea what's going on. Right. Boy, an odd fellow went into Ulrika's house just now. Might have been a noble. He had a nasty look about him. Ulrika's house, you say? All right. Ulrika's house. Let's have a look. Which one is Ulrika's house? Ah, ha, ha! There's Ulrika's house. Ulrika! Okay, just on the bend. All right, okay. So let's go and have a look-see in Ulrika's house, shall we? So just round here, and I think this might be Ulrika's house. Let's go in. Hello. Ever since the reign of Rathes, here we the go. The founder of Vermund. All right. The village of Malv has played an indispensable role in the defence of our kingdom against the dragon. Yet twice now, as the dragon set upon this village inflicting numerous casualties before being allowed to flee mm. the fault here lies with you Ser Ulrika. you have failed in your duty as acting chief i'm not sure you would have done a much better job martin at taking on a dragon you're having a laugh martin with all due respect sir martin our village has dispatched many of its young hands to the northern stronghold since its completion was it not the former consul you decreed that the stronghold should serve to defend the kingdom, with Melv offering aid only where needed. Yet the stronghold has remained entirely silent to our plight. How can you say that the fault is ours to bear? Yeah, that's a good point. Well done. Well done, Eureka. I know of no such agreement. At the very least, Queen Regent Deesa has mentioned naught of the kind. So what do you expect then, Martin? What's your solution to this plight? But I'm quite sure the consul... You would dare misrepresent the words of the dead? Or do you mean to imply that the Queen Regent has spoken falsely? If so, then Melv's problems run far deeper than I had thought. 
Tis not indolence that has taken root here, but treason. The village entire will answer for this. Oh, my days, Martin. What? I intended nothing of the sort. Pray, let us... Save your honeyed words, traitor. <laughs> I must inform the Queen Regent of this development. I think we should dip him in honey, feather him and tar him. Throw him to the bees. Well, Martin, I want a word, mate. Oi! I, I was going to string Martin up by his freaking testicles, to be honest. You came to see me? Yes. Forgive me, I've much to ponder. I bet. Still... How would you like to stay the night? Oh my god, I've yes. I've yet to okay. repay you for aught you've done for me. A small show of hospitality is surely the least I can do. Okay. I guess we're staying the night then. We're just going to let... Your godly efforts that may have escaped the worst of the dragon's assault. Um, Eureka, Martin has now got away, thanks to your kindness. The people of this village are more precious to me than life itself. To lose them would have been the end of me. You have my earnest gratitude, friend. I okay. wanted to tell you that, if not else. Now, okay. it is time we slept. There is much to be done for the village, and I shan't manage it without a good night's sleep. Okay. I guess we're not having much say in that. Okay, I guess we're rested then. Well, what's this on the table? I'll be having that. I'll be nicking that. Thank you very much, Eureka. Okay, uh, where's she gone? Story of my life. Where is she? She's vanished, Kate. It. Okay. Have <laughs> who? Said me. Yeah, I sneezed, Kate. It. Oh, what? Where is Ulrika? I don't know. The Queen Regent has declared that Ulrika be apprehended as a traitor to the kingdom. Well, that's thanks to you, Martin, with telling your porky pies and lies, my friend. All who seek to abet her will be tried in turn. Bring her before me at once. Oh my god, this guy's a complete fool, isn't he? Ulrika is gone. What? She stole away in the dead of night. Ask around. Several witnesses can confirm it. I cannot say why for certain, but I imagine she took your words to heart, Overseer. Mm -hmm. Realising her plans for rebellion had been found out, she chose to abandon the village, for our sake. You would have me believe that Ulrika was acting alone? That the rest of the villagers harbour no rebellious intent? I do! Aye, that's the long and short of it. Okay. Very well. I shall take you at your word, sir. However, the absence of a leader will sow naught but chaos. For the time being, your village will be in our hands. If tis as you say, I do not expect there will be any objections. Um, oh, there you are. Hello. That's what I would ask of you. It concerns Ulrika. I could have guessed. You've heard she fled the village. I, though that is the case, she would never truly abandon it. Okay. She left the village that she might fulfill her charge. Protecting vermin against the dragon. If someone would have just killed Martin, problem solved. You know what I'm saying? But as for where she went, I do not know. But now she's he spoke to Deesa now, so that's that's off the table. It would be unwise for me to go looking for her, lest I draw the eyes of the overseer's troops. However, should you happen to find her, would you tell me where she is hiding? Yes. I pray that she does not fall into the Queen Regent's clutches. All right. Okay, well, it looks like we've been given a new mission to find Ulrika. Really? Okay, well, that's good. Um, it's not a timed mission, which is fairly cool. Right, well, in this episode, people, we have managed to actually drop that secret bridge and managed to combine the shortcut back to Melv to the opposite side of the map, which is freaking awesome. So I think... I think I've completed my objective and I think this is a good place to end off before we go and find Ulrika because I think this is going to open up a whole sort of side questy type thing. And we still haven't gone to back of Batal, have we? So there's a lot that we haven't done. We still haven't found the Jadeite Ore, but we're all sorts, to be fair. I do want to start clearing all of these missions off the board before I pick up any other side quests. So hopefully you'll join me for the next episode, people, where we'll go and find Ulrika. Until then, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.